What's good, Denver? It's Shelly Martinez, your host of Chopping It Up with Shelly at Hollywood Barbershop. This is the Barbershop. Chopping up with Shelly over here at Hollywood's Barbershop. I have the one and the only Dibs in the house tonight. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you coming through. If you guys haven't got your hair cut by Shelly, you need to come through and get cut up. Uh, I ain't going to show you my shit right now. My shit fucked up, but <laughs> she'll hook you up for sure. Appreciate so. that. So um, tell me all about yourself. Let's see. Um, you are a Dem Denver native, is that right? Definitely a Denver native. Uh, born uh, born in Denver, raised in Aurora. Okay. Uh, grew up off of uh, 16th and Alton. Like I said, uh, went to uh, Crawford Elementary and uh, West Middle School. We won track A. Y'all know who we are. Y'all know who we are. We won track. We 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 the champions. But uh, yeah. Um, what are you What are you doing now? With like, where are you at now? What are you doing? Uh, so as far as now, uh, I I teach at a rec center, Athmar Rec Center, doing uh, art facilitating to the youth oh, cool. from uh, ages eight to I guess like eighteen. Uh huh. What yeah. does that look like? Like, what exactly do you do? So like, uh, I have the kids come in and like I have canvases or like we get like a big plywood and I have them like spray paint on that and like. Up. Just a way for them to not be spray painting in the streets and doing destructive stuff and like more honing in on skills than being destructive mm -hmm. and just like giving back because like I've never had really much so like mm -hmm. giving back to the youth is like probably something I wanted to do with my art as well so that's good because it, it's important for number one to have a creative outlet anyway just mm -hmm. regardless of who you are, right? Definitely. Um, but especially like for the kids because it gives them a chance to express themselves in a different way. Right, and uh, kids like are the most creative people. Like they're the mm -hmm. creative genius because they have just a big imagination. Like mm -hmm. where our minds as adults are already accustomed to stuff. So mm -hmm. like these kids, like you give them like these paints and like they just go ballistic and like mm -hmm. you see stuff that you could then use in your art. And That's it's not like like taking it from the kid or anything, but it's just like a different aspect right. on looking at art and how it's created. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, um, at what point did you f realize that you had that creative spark in you? Um, I couldn't even tell you. Like when I knew I had it, I just like people would just always tell me that like, yo, bro, you can draw. Like you ever thought about tattooing? Never. So never 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 you don't never <laughs> i'm never gonna <laughs> tattoo i will draw some shit but i will never tattoo i'm sorry guys wow. i won't but yeah it's never just, say never never say never but never <laughs> i might tattoo somebody but i won't become a tattoo artist wow. like, i mean I, I could see that going far for you though if you, yeah. if you did dive into that definitely but i don't know i just like i just don't see it for me like you know like people see stuff for themselves yeah and that's just not one not like yours. So i'll try it though but. you had mentioned to me that um that your mom kind of like when you were younger wanted you to, to to take a different road as far as like education wise and stuff like that that she didn't want you to invest so much in a creative side of your artist right. artistry you know she wanted you to go to school and get a job you know so Tell me a little bit about that and how that made you feel and, and how do you how you became who you are today. So like it, it really took like a big shot to my like artist ego because like I felt like she thought my art wasn't good enough that it could sell or like make an impact on people. So like it just kind of deterred me away from making art. Like I always had that creative like whenever I seen something that I wanted to draw, like I would do it, but like I just stayed away from drawing for a while like I just focused on having the job and 
making money and not really focusing on art anymore and it just like I wasn't happy mm -hmm. and like that's what I start to feel in life like I'm just not happy when I'm not making art mm -hmm. so so since then I mean you said you had a daughter what's mm -hmm. her name Callie oh how old is she she's 13 now wow and so at what age did she like and motivate you to pick up artist oh. art again it was around like the age of like eight it had to be like eight or nine. I would just remember sitting in my mom's basement, just like always drawing, 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 and like just figuring out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to, I guess, make the name Dibs. Like, wh where was I gonna take this? How could I create this name and people know who Dibs is? Mm -hmm. And I just like felt like giving up until she came to me and was just like, Dad, just keep drawing. Mm -hmm. Like, and somebody's gonna like your stuff. Mm -hmm. And that was like, that, that put the battery in my back to just keep going and like just keep developing and keep just keep sketching keep practicing practicing whatever I wanted to get better at just practice that for a month practice noses practice eyes practice hands Interesting. practice building a whole character from scratch to come into the character that I've built today mm. so you know I, I look at a lot of your um a lot of your artwork on your Instagram page and it, it's really cool because like a lot of your characters are characters that come into the barbershop Definitely. you know and it, it's really awesome to see that you know I'm like man I would like to have a lot of his artwork in here you know right. so tell me a little bit about like are you are you selling your artwork are you in galleries because if you're uh, not you should be so I've been in a couple galleries uh Isla gallery shout out Lorenzo and Fal yeah my boys yeah uh every um Deck the Halls, I'll be in that. Uh, I was in their Black Vanguard show in February. Um, what else? Uh, not too many galleries. I like doing pop-ups because mm -hmm. that's where like a lot of like that's a lot trendy. more foot action mm -hmm. and stuff. But if I were to do the galleries and stuff, like other galleries, definitely my place to go because like those dudes like show respect and they like they look out for artists who are trying to get their names out there and build up their their artistry and like find customers who want to invest in their art as well mm -hmm. so I think you had also mentioned to me uh, that you're working with a chocolate and herb yes chocolate and herb so uh my boys <laughs> here we go so fresco I get a call from fresco shout out fresco Tesla shout out Esco parks um, he calls me he's like yo I got this opportunity for you we want you to meet up with this guy named Tyler he got this there, he got the he wants you to make characters for him. So I end up meeting up with Tyler and like we hit it off straight off the bat. Like we're both in the video games. We had that video game lifestyle growing up, like cartoons, everything. So it just clicked right away. And when he told me his vision, I was like, Oh yes, like this was like the opportunity that I've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. And I was glad that our paths crossed because like it's just been like an endless amount of just opportunities that arose from that that's good and we just as we grow together as not only brothers a company mm -hmm. we're just getting bigger and stronger and like watch out for chocolate and herb yes. <laughs> so you know what um because i talked to tyler uh a long time ago about the metaverse you know he, he like introduced me to that concept right right so i can only imagine the things that you guys talk about and think about and visualize yourself you know selling your artwork in in the metaverse is that something that you guys are oh uh, most definitely towards? like that's always a that's always an option like me like uh, I'm more conservative about my art because I don't want my like I don't want to be like fucked over but like there's always like there's always talk about like nfts and stuff like that i'm not the biggest nft like jumper on but like you know like i do make digital art and i do make like cool digital art so what medium do you like prefer to work with <sighs> i mean i guess it just depends on the day because like i like to work with pretty much everything like if you if it makes a mark on something you name it i'm gonna try it so but my biggest ones right now, like I do love to uh, paint with acrylics. I've dabbled around with oils. I'd love to spray paint. Like uh, I have a couple murals. If you haven't seen my murals, I have one off of uh, Colfax and Dayton on uh, by the St. Patrick's or St. What's his name? St. Patrick's uh, pawn shop. 
Oh, okay. I right, think I know yeah, what you're talking about. It's a, and right next to Lady Justice Brewing. Okay. So um, there's that one. I've done a couple of murals off of Global uh, Liquors, off of West Colfax and uh -huh. Lakewood. Um, and a lot of who got me into mural work was uh, Rube Zilla and Chelsea Lewinsky. While watching those guys do their thing. Uh, and uh, talking to Rube, hanging out with him, showing up to walls with him. That was a good experience for me and led me to a position where I am now where I'm able to get my own walls and people are like wanting to like see my art and stuff. So where do you see yourself in you know in the next what few years? I mean what is your what is your vision? Uh right now like it's crazy because like uh I don't know, I I wouldn't necessarily say I have a vision. I just want to keep creating to see where that takes me. There's no vision at the, like there's no vision of what I want it to be at the end of the tunnel. It's just like the more I keep creating, the better opportunities I'm gonna have to put myself in. Mm -hmm. So are you 100% involved in creative side of your like art now? You're not just working a nine to five? Oh no, 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 definitely you're... working nine to five. I got like a couple kids, I got two kids to take care of. Sure. So like that nine to five helps me take care of my kids and the art helps me take care of myself. So, and also help give them extra stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So, I don't mind having a nine to five because growing up, like I, I was working with the Pisces, like seven in the morning till twelve, like till fucking seven at night, mm -hmm. nine at night, delivering drywall. So wow. like the 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 mentality, the work ethic of staying up and getting what you need done, mm -hmm. that's there. And, and when it comes to my art, I, I've applied it there because like if I, I know I need to get something done, I'm gonna stay up. Yeah. I'm gonna stay up. And I'll get and get up in the morning for three hours of sleep and be functioning and then get back to it. I'll take my naps after I get back home when I get my rest and stuff. <laughs> like I ain't moving like a zombie, but like if I know I gotta yeah. get something done, it gets done. So what side of the family do you feel uh, you, you got your artist? Definitely my mother's Great. side. Yeah, your mom. Yeah, my mom used to uh, make like floral, like, like uh, arrangements, mm -hmm. and so. And your kids have they have they picked up any? Ideas? Oh yeah, my my son loves to like he loves to like draw uh -huh. or copy me draw, or so. Whenever we go to like art shows, I try to take them to art shows and stuff to like see what their dad does and like this is you could do this as well type yeah. of stuff and. They, they enjoy it. My son likes to, like, being a graf not graffiti artist, but being into graffiti. Like, I like to just write on stuff. So, like, if we go to an art show and there's a trash can, like, I'll give them a marker and just, like, let them do whatever. Like, Would you let them just go crazy in their room and draw whatever they want on the walls? Not on the walls. Like, there's, like, <laughs> shit. Like, shit. I mean, you can I get always you, paint over yeah, it. Yeah, I get you a big-ass piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> we could find a big piece of paper, like, or a big canvas, like, to hang on so, the wall. But I wouldn't let them paint on the wall. No. Like, I, that's too much. That's like, too much. Yeah, that's So that's, you handed me um, a, a couple pieces that you had created. And um, I, I just yeah. love your artwork when I show everybody. How cool those are! I love that, and it just there's so much uh, expression in in these in these pieces. Definitely. And you said I could have one. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Just pick one. That's what's up. Where can uh, where can we find you at? Where can they find your your artwork? So right now I am building a website, so you guys will be finding my website pretty soon. But as far as right now, you can reach me. On Instagram at dybs dot a h o y. That's dibs ahoy on Instagram. On Instagram. So yeah, if you guys want to purchase anything, I do commissions. I do live paintings at houses. So if, wow. or if you guys want to ever just kick it and catch a session, just hit me up, and I'm always willing to work with people and collab. That's what's up. Um, you guys uh, need to get your hands on some of this artwork. It's amazing, and like I was telling him earlier, a lot of the characters that he um, that he creates are like coming to this barbershop on a daily. So it's like very familiar. You know what I mean? Definitely. And uh, very relatable too. And um, but uh, any shout outs you wanna you wanna shout out anybody? Uh, shout out my 
baby girl, Harley Batty, you know, <laughs> always holding me down through this. Shout out my kids, Jeremiah and Callie. Y'all keep your dad pushing as well. Uh, shout out the team, you know, Tyler. Shout out Fresco. Shout out AT. Shout out Chocolate and Herb. We out here doing this shit. Shout out Bob. Don't, don't forget about <laughs> Lifted Bob. We out here. Um, shout out Shelly. You know, hey. she, out here, she out here doing this for the people <laughs> for Colorado. Like, Colorado people. Yeah, but, you know. you know, yeah, like, <laughs> this was a good ass experience and a dope little podcast interview. Cool. Like, and I appreciate you for having me. Yes. And look out for my work here in Hollywood Most Barbers. Definitely. Yes, I would love to um, have some of your pieces here. I'll probably p purchase some for sure because yeah. I definitely want some. And, um, you know, like, uh, Another one of Denver's best right here in this chair, uh, a major artist up and coming. I mean, just keep that word on your tongue, dibs, and trust me, you're going to see it. Where's your mural at again? Uh, on Colfax and Dayton. Co yep, Colfax and Dayton. Especially if you're driving down the facts, you cannot miss it. It's so be on the lookout. Straight up. It's on the left side if you drive in east, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, if you're driving east down Colfax, it's on the left side of the street right across the street from the Fox Theater. So you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Denver. Well, again, like I said, another one of Denver's best here at Hollywood Barbershop. And uh, hey, check him out on, uh, our, on Instagram. What was that again? Just one more time. Dibs Ahoy. Dibs dot Ahoy on Instagram. That's the money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. All right.